Good day, everyone. Welcome to BST African Electronic Surgery. And uh, we have this laptop. This is coming from uh, one of our customers. And what the customer is saying, he's saying the laptop is coming on, but it's displaying nothing. Coming on with no display. This is the HP model. It's HP Elite Book. 840G3 that the mode of this laptop so let's see what the laptop is doing exactly power on you can see the keyboard backlight the laptop it is on and here on the switch button we have the LED on here but on the screen we have nothing so what can be the problem here What can be the problem here? Hmm? What do you think is the problem? Uh, this is some kind of laptop with the inbuilt battery. So probably we have a frozen EC chip. We'll see. We'll see why this laptop is not displaying anything. I'm eager to know why this laptop has no display. Hmm? And I wish to have like a an easy faulty yeah the laptop is too on we have a seal here so no one opened this laptop before so it's possible like to have a frozen EC chip. Here we have another seal here. So the back of the back cover is out. So you can see the fan is spinning. Okay. Let's power off the laptop. The laptop is off. Let's do the basics. What I want to do, I want to take out the battery. Let's take out the battery. The battery is out. Let's take out the, the BIOS battery. I want to short pins of the BIOS battery connector. So, yeah, hopefully this will solve the problem. I need access to to the pins of the BIOS. Right. So now I'll put back the the main battery. No, before putting back the main battery, let's press the power on button for about ten seconds. That should be fine. Let's put back the main battery. Let's 
Let's put back the main battery. You can hear that sound. Yeah, the laptop just came on by itself because because we took out the bias battery. Let's see. Off. Let's swap the RAM memory to the other side. Let's let's put back the bias battery. And now on. Is beeping. What can be the story here? Hmm? We reset the BIOS, so we have to be patient. Maybe we'll see something on the screen. Oh. Why? Still have nothing. Okay, let's power off the laptop. The laptop is now off. Let's clean the RAM sockets. Like this. Let's take out the screen connector. Let's put back the screen connector. Let's try one more time. On. Why? Hmm? Why do you have such kind of beeps? Masura hey, said. So, what can be the problem here? Hmm? I don't understand. It's on. Can you hear some beeps? And there's change, the, ch the screen is changing to, is slightly changing to, from light to dark. Hmm? Let's power off.
there's some slight changes on the screen hmm? is this screen a good screen I see something on the screen like it's trying to power on the screen but for some reasons the process is not being fulfilled so let's power off the laptop off let's check out the screen who knows maybe we have a forty screen was based on the behavior of the laptop it means the motherboard is fine but something is not right with the screen or the screen ribbon cable So, what we can do, let's try to refit the connector. That's what we can try first. Taking out the connector, putting back the connector in position, and try to power on the laptop. No, it's not working. Let me try with a, a different screen. Let me try with a different screen. Let's test with a different screen. Let's test with a different screen. Hmm? Power on. And it's too beeping. One, two, three. Okay. I think we need to search a few things. Let's power on the power of the laptop. Three big beeps and uh, two big. And the two small beeps on a light book, what does that mean? HP, a light book, 840, G3, three, three long beep and two short beeps. Maybe we can find something. Typical typically indicates a, a memory RAM related issue. Maybe you can see, but it's something to do with the RAM. You can see, typically indicate the RAM issue. So I was wrong. You know, sometimes you you become very very wrong like in this case. So let's replay let's put back the original screen. Let's put back the original screen because we are on the we are on the wrong direction here. So <coughs> let's put back the original screen. and focus on the rim we are actually on the wrong direction let's see if google 
is lying to us. Hmm? Something related to Rem. So, I believe the laptop is, the screen is trying to power on, but it's failing. Why? Because the RAM is not good. Because the RAM is faulty. So, where is our RAM? We have this RAM. 8 gig DDR4. Let's put back the RAM. That's the original RAM. Let's power on the laptop. You can hear those beeps. Like three long beeps and two short beeps. So immediately let's power off the laptop. Off. The laptop is now off. Let's put this back this SSD drive. Let's put a different RAM. We do have 16 gig DDR4 RAM. Let's try with a different RAM. On No beeps. What about picture? Can see the HP log is working. Huh? So the Google is not lying. Because post error, memory error, press enter to continue. Huh? It's working. So three long beep and two short beep. It is the RAM. Huh? It's good to know. It's good to know. Yeah, the laptop is working fine. There's user password. We can't proceed at this moment. But uh, basically, that's how you can fix a uh, HP. This is HP. Let me see. Let me see. Which HP is this? HP Lightbook 840G3 with no display. If you hear three long beeps and three short beeps, the three long beeps and the two short beep. First thing, run and replace the RAM memory. So this memory is faulty. That is our conclusion. Okay. So like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification for future updates. And see you on the next one. Bye.